Okay, so Stitch is asleep at the moment. Um, not sure how long he's going to stay asleep. But I figured this would be a great time to do his most annoying things video. Number one, as many people probably have guessed, oh my gosh, my hair is so out of place. I took him on a walk and it was kind of windy out. Uh, the first one is his obsession with left shoes. Left shoes. I mentioned it yet, uh, yesterday, last video, with his favorite toys. Yeah. Oh, we did get some more. We did get some more uh, toys for him, so we might have to update that at one point. And I still haven't fixed Hey Hey. I should really fix Hey Hey. Because now all the stuffing in the squeaker is out of Hey Hey. So I gotta sew Hey Hey up. Um, number two is he likes coffee. We're not sure, 100% sure why, but he loves coffee. Specifically, he likes iced coffee. Why does he like iced coffee? I'm guessing it's the sugar in the milk. But he, he will dump over your Dunkin' Donuts for the iced coffee. And we use these like mason, giant mason jars uh, to make some iced coffee in. And he will literally spill them because we have like little lids and straws for them. Uh, he will dump it out and start licking up the coffee. Uh, number two, no, three, I have a list. Uh, number three is jumping on people. He has this fascination with jumping on people. Ignore the tissues. <laughs> uh, but he does like jumping on people. We're trying to train him out of it. Um, I guess I should have said at the beginning of the video that... Some of these are just like puppy behaviors we're trying to like train him out of. Jumping on people is one of them. It's going okay. Um, number four is jumping on furniture and not jumping on furniture. How is this possible? Well, he likes to jump on cou the couches. Well, we have a couch and a bench, but he will jump on those like nobody's business, but he won't jump on beds. We don't know why. They are lower than the bench that he jumps on without needing a running head start, but he doesn't like to jump on beds. Um, he can do it, he just doesn't like it. And he sleeps with me on my bed. So, it gets kind of annoying when, in the middle of the night, after he's jumped off my bed, he wants to jump back on my bed, but he refuses to jump, so he wakes me up. Yeah. Okay, so number five is chewing on anything, really. Because he chews on Matthew's toys, which can get ridiculously expensive because he likes electronics. Uh, he chews on cords. He started chewing on hangers. We have plastic and like the felt hangers. Um, and he likes chewing on both of those. Not sure why. Number six, I think it's six, is barking at his reflection. We have an oven, obviously. That is like his height. So when the oven is on, he can see his reflection. He doesn't realize that it's his reflection. So he barks at it. That's also really annoying. Number seven. He has an ongoing war with bowls. His bowls, our bowls that we're, we've just finished eating out of, he just does not like 
bowls and he will sit there and chew them and like throw them around and chase after them and pounce on them and all that stuff and it's annoying all right so number eight i think it's number eight number eight is he loves to get in my purse he likes to stick his head into my purse and grab stuff out of my purse i'm acting like y'all can see my hands but yeah you can't um number nine i think we're on number nine number nine Okay. Oh, and if you see like me do like this, I work with some kids that use sign, uh, ASL signing and, which is American Sign Language and, uh, some kids that work with signing exact English. So I'm very likely to do, uh, like the signs for the numbers. Um, anyway. So yeah, this is nine. Uh, so number nine is he likes chewing on rocks. I don't know why, but on our walks, he will pick up a rock. He will chew on it for a little bit or just hold it in his mouth and then spit it on the ground. Mm. We're not sure why he does this. Um... Number 10 is that, I've mentioned this before, Stitch likes puddles. He really, really likes puddles. He will sit there and jump and try and pounce on uh, whatever waves he makes in the puddles. It's annoying. Especially when they're muddy. He seems to like the muddy ones more. Uh, yeah. And here are an additional two that Stitch learned living with us. So, be careful. Okay, the first one is begging for carrots. My dad loves to eat carrots. Stitch apparently loves to eat carrots and my dad has kind he stitch started begging for carrots one day and my dad gave into it so begging for carrots it's annoying thankfully he's only doing it with carrots but the begging thing that's annoying uh number two um this one is my fault we got a laser pointer and Stitch is more interested in a laser pointer than a cat is. Um, but I accidentally taught him two days. In two days, on accident, to only come in from the backyard after going to the bathroom by following the laser pointer. We are currently working on getting this behavior under control. Because we can't always have a laser pointer. And it's just, it's not a good thing to do. Why did I do it? He was barking and not, like, coming in when I, like, signed come. Uh, you can barely see come. That's what we've been doing for come. So I just shined the little lace pointer. And, yeah... I only did it like three times with two. I did it one uh, one night during our quiet hours, um, which is when we have like, he, where I live, we have like quiet hours where you can't be doing like anything obnoxiously loud uh, for from the time of, I think, I think it's 10 o'clock at night to 6 or 7 in the morning, or else you can get fined. Um, and Stitch was just barking at shadows. 
because it was 10 o'clock at night. So I shined the laser pointer and got him inside. And then the next day, he was doing it again in the morning this time. And I know our one of our neighbors has really young kids, so I didn't want to wake them up, so I just shined the laser pointer again and it stuck. I was, was I happy about it? No. Um, we haven't actually used the laser pointer at all since then um, because we don't want to get him like really dependent on it or anything and we haven't really played with it since then either because it's a small little laser pointer like this big but if I keep doing this it gets bigger and smaller it's like two inches long it's a Dollar Tree laser pointer come on not that big um, but, uh, if I put it in my pocket, I'm afraid I'm going to be tempted to bring him inside with it. So I just put it on a shelf out of reach. Well, out of sight, out of mind. Uh, yeah. So those are Stitch's annoying habits. Again, nothing to do with him being deaf. Most of it's puppy behaviors that, you know puppies do and you have to like train them out of it um I think my next video because saying next videos has actually been helping me I think my next video is going to be on a, a potty training stitch because we kind of did it we started potty training him like when he we thought he was uh able to hear so yeah, potty training stitch because it's kind of weird how we did it.